I'll say this in two ways. Do I think Trump is a unifier? I can't per se he's a unifier because when you're going into a industry or you're going into a political sphere as a disruptor, you're naturally not going to be a unifier because you're disrupting something that has been unified in a long way. But what I will say is when it comes to have we, have we, are we more what was the word you said, divisive or more separated than ever? Yeah. I don't believe we are. I think it's brought to the surface. You know, now we're vocalizing it. We're talking about it more because for so long it was don't talk politics and it's impossible not to talk politics anymore. So naturally, as the level of consciousness and awareness of a certain topic comes and it rises, that's going to cause more friction because now more and more voices and more and more people are speaking about it. However, I feel that prior to Trump, we've become more and more divided between the people and the government. And he's made that very obvious. So you want, you might say unified as a people, which I would disagree. We just haven't had as many attention and the use of technology like social media, whether it's Trump or not, has allowed that to be a lot more vocalized because before you only could rely on TV, right? You didn't have Twitter, you didn't have Facebook. So naturally there's going to be more division because more people's voices can be heard which is good. But for years and decades, we've become separated as far as government and people because we haven't had much influence on what they were doing. And that's why we've gotten to very high taxes and the standard of living has actually decreased in the United States because people aren't as happy and all of those things because our government, our government has become so powerful in itself. And so if anything, do I think he's been more divisive? I wouldn't say more. I would say um, to really make a change and to disrupt an industry or anything, even a political system, you're, it's going to be divisive because you need friction and in, 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 you need friction and hard conversations to eventually grow and unify. So I think naturally history will be good to Trump and show that he ultimately unified the people, the right people, because he unified the people that believe in the Constitution, the values and principles that became in what America are meant to be. He brought those people together, and that's important. And RFK Jr. going to the Republican Party, he doesn't do that by accident. He does that because the Democratic Party no longer aligns with his values and principles.